Hello, this is Austin Shirley, Vice President Engineering of the University of Saskatchewan Space Design Team. The USST is mostly an engineering group of undergraduate students, uh, but we also have members and contributors from arts and science, accounting, marketing, biology, and the College of Medicine here at the University of Saskatchewan. Right away, we're going to be showing off the differential. This is the part of the rover that helps us get over rocks, and our mechanical design member, Seamus, is going to be showing off how it works. Hi, my name is Seamus. I'm a member of the mechanical design team on uh, the USST and this is our rover for 2015. Today we'll be talking about the differential. This year we've gone with a design for the differential of helical gears that produce a one-to-one -one ratio, whereas one side will rotate clockwise and the other will rotate counterclockwise. This differential, the gears are made out of steel. As you can see here, there are two gears on either side, here and here, thereby sharing the load and then the two shafts are separate. You can see here there's a space between them that allows the one to rotate in one direction and the other to rotate in the other direction. The two small gears mate with each other. This one here goes to here and then going to the other side and the same on the other side. We hope that this achieves a smoother motion with a minimal backlash, providing a stiff transition to the chassis so that the entire rover does not move around as much as last year's. Uh, we chose steel gears for long life and for the ability to have as strong a package in as small space as possible. Uh, the differential is mounted inside of our carbon uh, chassis. There's aluminum plates top and bottom that key into the uh, internal framework. And then this, the shaft from the chassis, or from the differential, goes out through pillow blocks made out of Delrin, out to where it meets with the rocker bogey suspension system. So as the, uh, the rover is going to be moving over rough terrain, the gears are going to be subjected to uh, shock loads and we stuck with steel this year, same as last year, to handle these uh, abusive conditions. And with the minimal backlash designed into the system with the helical gears this year, we hope that it'll provide a superior performance. So as the uh, rover is going to be moving over rough terrain, when the front wheel here uh, encounters uh, an obstacle such as a rock, it's going to lift up and that's going to transmit to the shaft here. And uh, going into the differential, what that does is reverse the direction so that the shaft on the other side rotates in an opposite direction and then the rocker bogey on the other side moves downwards, whereas this one was moving upwards and that levels off the entire platform. So we maintain a level chassis and uh, reduce the risk of tipping. Uh, by keeping the chassis level, uh, this also keeps all wheels in contact with the ground and increasing uh, traction and not being able to get stuck. Thanks for watching our video this week. Don't forget to give a like and subscribe to our channel for more upcoming videos of our design. Also, check out our webpage at usst.ca. Check out the video description for links to our Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn pages. Finally, a big thank you to our sponsors. With your support, you make this all possible. If you want to donate to the team, check out our website or contact us at the links in the description. Right now, all donations up to $1,000 are being matched dollar for dollar until we reach our initial goal of 50,000. All donations are tax deductible Thanks for watching. This is Seamus from the USST. Tune in next week for our next video.